Hello YouTube, Kreasel here with a episode of Lit Show on my FTB Unleashed and what I want to show you is deep storage units which in FTB Unleashed is uh, very easy to uh, build because it's not Greg Tech enabled for one and each one can hold two billion units of a single type. Let's see. I only got 49 sand in that one. Um, nothing in this one. That's apparently the one that has my had my obsidian in it. That's individual items there. So 1,655 plus 64 gravel. Okay, so on me is a bunch of obsidian, and I am using the ME storage bus in insert only because the reason for that is so you can control the f what the faces do so my import is on the upside and my outports on north east south and west so because of the way the deep storage unit is set up I have a M the storage ME storage bus on the top is set to insert only and these on the side are set for output only and the beauty of those ME storage buses is they take any storage system or machine or chest even turtle and allow its inventory to be a part of your inventory in the applied energetic system okay so I start sending all of this obsidian back into the system and it's going to place all that obsidian into the deep storage unit instead of hogging up my actual storage space on the drives. That's what it's supposed to do. And I think it's actually doing it because <coughs> lights there aren't clogging up, i.e. they're not turning orange and green. So, come double check the one for obsidian. Yes, they're all moving over there. And I can use obsidian through my ME crafting terminal quite easily. stickers of obsidian. Learn something every day. And that's the amount of obsidian that uh, will now be in over there because I took two out to make a stick. Add those together and it should come out and then is it 4089 plus 64? Yeah, should equal 4153. Sure does. So, as you know, hard drives can be expensive, or the storage units rather. And using those storage buses on things like a deep storage unit, you can use barrels, but let me show you the recipe on this. Okay, so there it is. On FTB Unleashed version 1.1.7, all you need is uh, this an unattuned test rack, four chests, and four sheets of plastic, which are easy to make because they form from four raw plastic, and you get the raw plastic by literally burning rubber in your smelter. Furnace doesn't matter, and the test racks are easy too.
all you need is a liquid transformer or uh, whatever transposer to uh, push ender pearl liquidified ender pearl into the frame and then the hard part here would be the harding glass and you can pulverize some obsidian and mix it with lead and an induction smelter which is what I do right there I would put my obsidian over here and I would get glass that harding glass that goes in my system my magma crucible I would put ender pearl here and and it goes through and it comes down to my liquid transport and um, I also use it to make my redstone conduits as well I have these things so that's what I want to show you guys and hope it gives you some ideas you can like I said you can interface those to the oh you want to see that recipe I bet you okay so I was looking that things to build and I saw it here and I'm like, huh, oh, what's it do? I gotta look at this storage bus, so I'm gonna look at this one next. I guess that just means it moves by stack instead of individual. And that's probably what I should have went with, would have loaded the deep storage units up faster. Because you'll say, oh my god, these things are loading slow, and it's probably because you used this one. See, it's real simple. Just cable on top. This interface. All easy to make. There are a lot of things to do in FTV Unleashed, and personally, I think Greg Tech is a huge pain in the butt. And um, and you'll be for days just doing stuff and unleash. So enjoy. Oh yeah, look. See, I got it interface to. Uh, this is my chest for what comes out of my smelter. And that one's set to bi directional. And the beauty of this, also the storage bus, is whatever the uh, inventory system is, is um, like, say, whatever you got in there, the system goes, oh, okay, so that's only what you want in there. But it can glitch out and put random junk in there, which this one did and I think it got confused based on these things that were in here I think it just looks at the master type like if it's a ferris block so it's 2010 it ignores the subtype or the damage type which is colon 4 so it gave me everything that matched 2010 and therefore and on these so it all kind of filled up in that case you have to click and control literally fill up this grid with something so now I'm saying that's all I want in there. So whatever, it's not hard, it, and it's it's nice. So you guys, take care. Hope to see you next time. Bye.